Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginner series and in this video we are going to see arrow function. So the arrow function is also a part of ES6 feature and let's compare the normal function with arrow function and discuss about the advantage of using arrow function and how the arrow function makes your code much simpler. So first I will start with a generic normal function. So let me create a function. Let's name this function as get details and I'm going to pass two parameter. Let's say name company. So I'm going to return that person is working in the so-called company. So let's put that in console log and call this function with argument let's say the name as mike and company as google if i execute this one you can see that it return a string value mike is working in google so this is a normal way of defining a function but still you can assign a variable to this function let's say const get details you can assign this get details to this function so to do that you can remove the function name because you have already given the name here so there is a no use or there is a no need to give the function name again you can just keep it as an anonymous function and if you execute this one it still work. Mark is working in Google. So let's see how to convert this anonymous function into an arrow function. So in arrow function, we are using equal to sign and arrow symbol between the parameter and the scope of the function. And you don't need to use a keyword function in the arrow function. So that's it. You have successfully converted your anonymous function into an arrow function. And rest of the thing are same. Let me execute this. And if you see the output, mic is still working in Google. But in arrow function, you can make the program much simpler so for example, I'm returning only this statement. So if your function contain only one block of line and that too is a return statement, then you can ignore the return keyword as well as curly braces. You can directly do this and this code will still works. For example, let's say you're going to pass only one parameter and that is uh, name and he is working in a Google. Let me put that here. And if you execute that one, Mike is still working in Google. Okay. So if you're passing only one parameter, then there is a no use of putting a parenthesis. You can just define the parameter as it is and this code will work. Suppose if you don't have any parameter, you have to put an empty parenthesis like this. So let me put a mic here because we are not passing any parameter and this should be like this because we are not passing any parameter and there is no use of putting the arguments here. So if you execute you can still see that it's working. So this is how the arrow function make your code much simpler when compared to a generic function. It's quite difficult to understand if you are using generic function, but once you start practice it, you will get familiar with it. Also going forward in my tutorial i'm going to use only the arrow function so that you will get more comfortable with this arrow function so that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye